I love trying to figure things out. I think that's one of the biggest things that brings people to science. Um, I've always liked it. Since I was really young, I had always been, you know, kind of questioning how things work and questioning why things work the way they do. I got really into going into the high school science lab and you know, learning about things. I presented different waves of sound and kind of how they behave. I was kind of looking at how I could apply those to maybe focusing the waves together for things basically like an ultrasonic scalpel except uh, this would be using waves that would be safer for the body. I was taking it a step back and looking at kind of the basics of the sound waves and the fundamentals of how they work. The hospitals use focused ultrasound to uh, not only do things like break apart kidney stones, but they use them to eradicate cells so they can basically vibrate the cells so fast that they heat up and die. And they use it right now for things like cancer in certain areas of the body where they can reach it. But the problem is that ultrasound can cause problems in the cells. It can cause free radicals, which kind of end up making your cells start to fall apart one by one. And it's bad to have too many free radicals. And so with this system, it would be using normal sound waves it wouldn't be causing those kind of free radicals and it would end up being able to be used at longer ranges because these waves are so much more powerful. So you maybe wouldn't only be able to do it on cancer that's close to the surface of the body, but maybe anywhere in the body. I live in a really small town of Odessa, Washington, which is about a thousand people. So when I needed, say, a new uh, piece of equipment for my research, I didn't go into a big lab to get it. I ended up going to the local tractor repair shop and working with them and machining it myself. I think in a lot of senses, I benefited in the fact that in our small community, everyone's there to help. And so when I needed something, I could just go in and people were willing to help me at any time. The review process was great. Um, what ended up happening was I sent in my paper and they got back to me within a few weeks um, with a ton of different comments that reviewers had made, uh, which was good because it really showed how much they cared about making things um, really professional. When applying to colleges, it's definitely a huge factor to have already been published at the high school level, but also for making connections with people and things like that. It gets your research reviewed by a committee of, of professionals and that on its own is worth it to just have them look it over and you can make revisions and that might stem future research. It's just something that you should probably go for.